and welcome to the fire station at the Galloway House and Village. Today we have the Volunteer Fire Department um, Rosendale wagon. This is the first pumper wagon that was used in Rosendale. And uh, at this point, they would have the um, tank with, that they would fill with water and take to the fire station, or to the fire. And um, this would have been a horse-drawn wagon. It set up, two horses would pull this. Um, and this is, uh, would be great, um, but at, before this, it would have been the, at the most primitive, a bucket brigade, which would pass buckets along, uh, fill in from a creek or a pond, um, and just keep passing buckets along, and the person at the end would throw the water on the fire from the bucket, turn that, and get the next bucket, and that would not be very efficient and would take a, quite a while and a lot of people. Um, but at this point then they had hoses and they would um, hook it up to the tank and um, have water to be able to uh, shoot readily and much faster and get out of fire faster. Now here's another type of tank. Um, this would have been pulled by one horse, um, and, but this would be another way to get water to the fire without having to um, try to find a water source or, or if the water source were far away from the fire, um, you always want to make sure you can uh, get that uh, water to the uh, fire as fast as possible. Um, and also here's another um, hose hookup. This could have been um, from a horse or uh, people uh, pulling it. Um, this would be the hoses and you could put the hose uh, one end right into a pond or a creek um, and, and uh, hook it up or, or hook it up to um, a tank. And here's the hose ends. Um, the other thing that um, you would have is if a building were a second or third floor, how do you get someone out of that fire? Well, here is... Um, it looks like a big trampoline when it's put all together. And this was used in uh, the city of Fond du Lac. Uh, and the firemen would hold this big like trampoline, um, but this is made out of canvas. And you would jump into it from the second floor um, and that was um, a lifesaver. Um, and then in the back you can see one that doesn't fold up um, and uh, would be harder to transport than the one that folds up. Uh, and then here we have, this is a 1929 international fire truck. Um, once they uh, stopped using horses and they could use engines, um, they would uh, then be able to uh, carry much more water uh, and have a bigger tank. They could get to a fire faster um, so wherever it was um, out in the country, uh, they could um, get to it uh, much, much faster because again, when it comes to fire, timing is everything and you want to make sure you get there as fast as possible. Uh, there's here different <coughs> alarms. Uh, so there's um, uh, certain ones that you would crank or uh, pull the lever if it was electrified. But before that, um, you would have the bell. And when the bell would go off, uh, you knew there was a fire and, and all the volunteer fire people would then run to the um, fire station uh, and drop what they were doing. They knew that they had to get to the fire. Uh, so that was very, very important um, to, you know, to, when you have a volunteer fire department. Now they get contacted on their cell phone. So, <laughs> I, so, um, so this is all set up. This, this was uh, given to us by the Knowles Fire Department and they've restored this. Um, but the biggest point is fire happened often because everything was made out of wood and how we had our heat and our lighting was an open flame. So a uh, fire department was very, very important um, for that. And they're very, very important today too. 
So hats off to the fire department. Thank you.